You mentioned some of the pressures, tourism and consumerism and television. Um, what about your experience of aid and development projects? Because Nepal has had a, depending on how you see it, suffered or benefited from an immense inpouring, influx of wealth uh, from foreign aid. Yes, uh, I agree. Rather like smoke in battle being a two-edged weapon, so you could say aid is a two-edged weapon. There's much more to giving aid properly than uh, used to be thought. Sandex Pilvio, how do you pronounce his name, said teach a man how to fish and feed him the rest of his life as opposed to giving him a fish and feed him for the day. And I'm sure there's a lot in that. However, despite all the aid over the 20, last 20 years, I remember figures from The Economist which show that Nepal has sunk from the bottom 20 poorest countries to the bottom 10 poorest countries and the gross national product has only increased by about point or whatever derisory amount it is. Uh, so therefore, that which could have happened to the extent that it could have happened has not happened. Yet, even so, the ability to have bridges instead of no bridges, to have schools instead of no schools, to have irrigation that uh, would come as a matter of course rather than a matter of the Almighty, to have potable water on tap, the standpipe, and having to go to great lengths and great distances to get water can only have a beneficial effect, I'm sure.